Hey gang, um, so I'm gonna make a few videos and in these videos we're gonna make a really simple game. And the game's gonna be this game that we're looking at now. Um, and maybe that we'll build on it a little bit. But right now you can see it's just a game with a hero which is a, a unicorn image um, that isn't <laughs> It was it was supposed to be a PNG that I, I downloaded from the internet. I thought it would be transparent this background, but I kind of like that there's that border because it shows actually where the edge of the image is, which you know just sort of facilitates things. So we can see as soon as this image will cross over that threshold of this purple dotted line, the character undergoes a transformation. Oh my gosh! And that's the fun thing about games. I I um. I really like this idea, um, homo ludens. And the idea was put forward by a Dutch anthropologist in the 1920s that everything generative in culture was, is created by play. And that's one of the reasons I like making games. Um, one of the reasons I like teaching games is because it teaches us um, complicated ideas about software development in kind of a fun way. Um, and so this game, you know, a lot of these principles will be equally applicable to a more serious React app where you'll, you'll still have to manage state in, in a lot of these same ways. When you have a user logged in and they want to add something to a shopping cart, they need to click a button. And that that goes into the shopping cart, and then maybe they want to click a delete button, and oh, changes back. So we're changing the state of a shopping cart in that case. In this case, we're just changing the state of this achieved goal value. Um, so anyway, we'll we'll talk some more about these things as we go along. Uh, this will probably be this will be a number of videos, um, and I'm going to do them over a number of weeks, just a couple of videos a week. And uh, eventually, we're gonna we're gonna be using Redux to handle all these state transformations. So that's really the the point of this, you know, series is to talk about state and state transformations in a way that's it's easy to understand. So I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna use NPX. Um, you can also use Yarn if you prefer. Just they're they're pretty equivalent package managers. Just know um, if you if you use Yarn, you'll have to use Yarn throughout. If you use npm, you'll have to use npm throughout. Um, and so I'm going to just here in my terminal change directories to my desktop and run npx create React app and say React hero to tutorial. And I'm going to hit enter and that's going to run and that's going to take a little minute. So I'm going to pause this and